the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, it's Sneakerhead M Checks I got the Bubbles Nike SBs from the Powerpuff Girls set Currently scheduled to release Thursday, December 14th So as usual, we're going to take a close detail look at the shoe from all angles I'm going to put these on and step around them so I can say they look on feet Then I'm going to share my opinion on the shoe And then after that I'll talk about release predictions, reselling predictions and all that stuff so let's get right to it so these got like a i don't know if i want to say this is like a snake skin or fish skin uh, some type of reptile or animal <laughs> skin pattern and then the material itself feels almost like a canvas mixed with like suede i guess you could say it's definitely a really unique material look and feel wise and you got the yellow laces to match Bubbles' hair. Then here they got the Powerpuff Girls logo tiled on the tongue, just like the other two pairs. Then on the tongue patch, it says Bubbles' name and Nike SB above it. And that's the view from the front. You'll also notice these, like, white-looking spots all over the upper, which is just the light bouncing off of this material, so they kind of move, like, based on what angle the light is hitting them on. Like, I know if I were to turn my ring light off, you can still see them, but because the light is different now, they just, they actually look more white. Like, it almost looks like chalk or paint from right here, but it's not. Here's the other side. Now the swoosh obviously doesn't have any of that. It's just a regular leather. And then these also have that 3M trim around the edges. If you look at them in the dark with flash, you'll see that 3M reflect and really pop out. It's the same thing that you see on Jordan 5 tongues, just iridescent instead of silver. And here is the angle from which we've seen them the most. Got Bubbles Big Blue Eyes back here. And a little smirk or smile on the right shoe. Now if you notice on the other pairs, the Blossom and the Buttercups, they both have the mouth on the left shoe as opposed to the right. And I wonder why they did it that way. On the back side of the tongue on the left shoe, it says the Powerpuff Girls and all related characters and elements are copyrighted and trademarked by Cartoon Network. Then they have the Powerpuff Girls logo and the Nike SB logo under that. Then on the back side of the tongue on the right shoe, it says Nike and the swoosh name and logo are trademarked and your guarantee of quality swoosh. Under that, there's a picture of a cup of sugar. They got a polyester-like interior. Come with an extra pair of black laces. Here are how the insoles look. The left insole has the Nike SB logo, then a bunch of fighting on them on a Pia. Another Nike SB logo up there on the top left, and more fighting on a monopia. If you look at the Blossoms and Buttercups, they all actually have the same left insole. She says the Buttercup one has the green around the perimeter, Blossoms got pink, and then Bubbles has blue. And this right insole has the Powerpuff Girls logo at the bottom. A little bit more fighting on a monopia, but then they have Mojo Jojo right here, looking like he's up to something and plotting on somebody. And then the rest of the insole just has his cape going up there. The Blossoms and Buttercups have Mojo Jojo on their right insoles as well. It's just doing something a little different on each one. And here's how all the insoles look next to their respective sneakers. On the bottom of the insoles, they got a little symbol on them that relates to the intro of the Powerpuff Girls show. And just so you can see, the insoles for the other pairs got that too. You know that if you watch my reviews on them. But yeah, these symbols are supposed to signify Chemical X. If you watch the intro to the Powerpuff Girls show, basically the plot of the whole thing is that Professor Utonium was trying to create the three perfect girls. He mixed sugar, spice, and everything nice together. But then while he was doing that, he accidentally knocked something called Chemical X into that mixture. And that's how the Powerpuff Girls got super strength. And that's basically like what the show is about. Icy blue outsole. Very pretty. Giving me old Denver Nuggets jersey vibes. Like during the Iverson Mellow era. I know what I'm talking about. Now, like I always say about a lot of translucent outsoles, I love these. I love the way they look, but not too excited about the way they age. These will turn green over time, so enjoy them while they blue. On the front of the box, I got this little sticker that says the Powerpuff Girls and all related characters and elements are copyrighted and trademarked by Cartoon Network. That's the same text that's on the back side of the tongue on the left shoe. I forgot to show that in my last video, but other than that, there's nothing special about it. Just the off-white box with the 
gray Nike SB logo. Inside's a lot more interesting where they have this special paper. And if I unravel it, you see it has all three Powerpuff Girls on it. Here's a quick all around view of the shoe. All right, now let's see they look on feet. That's fire. When it comes to the dunks, I got plenty of options like the Rose and when he on a fast break. Might not play the sport, but I got the kicks. Got Nike SBs, but I don't skate. I, don't. I got these fives that never release. They call motorsports, but I don't race. I get sneakers early just so I can review them and rock them before the release date. She want to pull up and see the collection. She heard that I got all the Jordans. Oh, yeah. I might just take your sneakerhead girlfriend if your collection is boring. I seen a pair of old Now that I've reviewed all three colorways of the Powerpuff Girls SBs, it seems to me like Nike kind of went out of their way on the materials on each of them. Because each pair has a material on them that I feel like I've never encountered before. Like these got the reptile skin thing going on, which I know we've had snake skin sneakers before, but it's a little different on these. It's like a little bit more fine. But besides that, like the texture, like this canvas suede combo, like I don't know if I ever seen that before. I've never seen this material on sneakers either. This shit really looks like metal on some angles in certain light. And probably my favorite part about this material is they sound like those windbreakers that people used to wear back in like the 90s and the early 2000s. And if you ever rubbed against the pants leg or whatever, it would sound like this. I ain't never seen that on no sneaker. Then you think that the Blossom pair is the only one with like a normal common texture until you realize that this upper is not just leather. They look like leather at first until you look at them close and realize they added this little crystally finish on top that kind of looks like smoke on some angles. If y'all want to see it up close, check out my review on these. But they really gave all three of these like a unique material. And I know I may sound like I'm complaining, but I'm not. I love what they did with all three pairs. The details are really what's winning here because if you ask me in general, like disregarding the theme and all the details behind them, none of these colorways are really that crazy. It's these cool, unique materials they use on these along with the Powerpuff Girls details that really make these shoes fire. So yeah, Nike definitely did their thing with these. You know, at first I thought this was my favorite colorway out of the three and maybe it still is, but as of recent, I've been looking at these like these actually may be my favorite. I'm still not sure. It's definitely one of these two. But leave a comment and let me know which pair out of all three do you like the best. But yeah, I really like these. The only concern I really have is the outsole on them. And I know I said that in my Blossoms review as well. And the reason it matters so much on these is because this outsole matches the upper. So right now it looks great. You know, they go together. But when this outsole starts to age, it's going to start to turn all green down here. And that's going to throw the whole bubble steam off because there ain't no green in bubbles. So that's going to suck. I'm really not looking forward to that. But that's just more of a reason to wear these as soon as possible. That way I can enjoy them as much as I can while the sole is completely icy blue. And I make sure I take care of them to the best of my ability. That way the yellowing process doesn't happen as Fast. Like I said in my last two videos, all three of the Powerpuff Girls SBs are going to be hard to cop at retail. If you plan on getting these or either of the other two, just be prepared to pay that aftermarket resale price. If you ever try to cop a pair of SBs for retail, especially a hype pair like these are going to be, you know how tough it is. In my Buttercup review, I really went into detail on how and why it's so much more difficult to cop a pair of SBs for retail in comparison to most other Nike releases. I'm trying not to be repetitive, so I'm not going to go deep into detail on that now like I did in that video. If you want to hear me go in on that, just check that video out if you didn't already. But if you're wondering where you could cop them from, most of the retail for these are going to be skate shops and there may be up to like a handful of other retailers as well undefeated might get them places like that nike will probably do a draw for them on the sneakers app most likely sometime after the other retailers i don't know why nike always lets the other retailers drop their shoes first and then drop theirs later kind of seems backwards but that's how they do it normally if anybody wants a list of retailers for these or either of the other two colorways just leave a comment and closer to release once that info is out i'll try to remember to respond with the link but yeah into all those raffles all the skate shops and other retailers are doing hope you get lucky but definitely don't expect anything there's going to be a lot of backdooring going on, so don't have too much faith in these raffles. So if you go after these and you don't have a retail on the 14th, like I just said, you'll probably have a second shot via the sneakers app a couple of days or weeks later. And it'll most likely be via draw. But once again, don't expect anything. You'll be lucky to get any colorway in any size for retail. So with all that, these will obviously be a nice flip for resellers. I'm pretty sure retail is going to be 135 USD or something close to that at least. And once these release, I see them reselling for around like three or 400. I know in my last two videos, I said I expected the Blossoms and the Buttercups to go around 400. And I can still see them going that high but after thinking about it some more they'll probably all be closer to three i don't know somewhere between there now i do expect all three colorways to be around the same price i'm kind of curious to see which one is the favorite like which one's going to go for more i don't know if they're making the same amounts i did hear at one point that the bubbles and the buttercups pairs were supposed to be a little bit more limited than the blossoms but i don't really know how true that is whether it's true or not 
We'll see which colorway goes for what, but I think they'll all be somewhere between three and 400 by the time they come out. At this point, I don't know if they're gonna be making a Mojo Jojo pair or not. When the info first started to leak about Nike making Powerpuff Girls SBs, there was a rumor attached to that that they were making a Mojo Jojo pair as well as a Friends and Family release. The mock-ups that were going around had me hyped for them, but I haven't heard any updates about them since then. I feel like by now, we would have at least seen some official pictures, especially because these three have already been made. They got the boxes done, the paper inside and all that. Like, I feel like by now, if they were gonna make a Mojo Jojo pair, they definitely would have at least had some official pictures or at least at the very least some sort of update on them so i don't know but i'll keep my fingers crossed if you plan on copying these i'm wishing you the best of luck and getting them in your size for retail you're gonna need it <laughs> if this video is helpful and formal in any way i really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up also if you're interested in more early reviews like this or any other sneaker related content please do us both a favor and subscribe to my channel make sure you tap the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to select all that way when i put a new video out you get notified and you won't miss out on anything i will be reviewing these next and i will be comparing them to the last retro from 2009 y'all know how i like to do that so make sure you subscribe with those video notifications turned on i want to thank you all for watching everybody please stay safe and healthy out there and i'll see you next time